let's go back to the app make sure that the app is loading um, recap I think that's what they're calling it next <coughs> great okay we need to deal with dividing this image into equal size Ooh, and you guys have got apps to do that mm, let me go back here and say uh, is it cropping crop image into yeah is it why Okay, there we go. I have the image into eight. You see what I'm trying to do? I have a picture, right? Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that I cut it into, let's say, these nine shapes. Ne? Okay. And I'm doing all of this online. So choose a file because I've already downloaded a file. This is it. It has been loaded. Um, now, I don't know how many images. Cutting certain parts in width that's in height height is going up ne? let's say let's say going up we're gonna get two going on with we're gonna go with uh, with three yeah yeah three three I'm happy download okay so I end up with nine images can you see let me download I'll show you the original picture and I'll show you the corresponding new pictures so this is the original picture right okay the one I downloaded you can download your own but be careful of what I'll be doing now this will be there um, the corresponding nine images that have been cut for me now let's see those images can you see them remember it's still one picture right but this the picture has been divided into nine parts you can see no? so from there all I need to do is know okay so it's gonna be one two three uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let me show you now on the app. Uh, as usual, my thing requires a lot of attention.
Okay, there we go. Delete the previous form. And just redirect the program to my new form. And as usual, you don't have to do this because your machines are not going to give you problems. So instead of form one here, I'm going to be calling the recap. Back to my form. Very simple thing. Um, I will need a checkbox. Should I use a checkbox? Mm. Let me just use a checkbox. Yeah, I think they use a checkbox and I'll move the text and say are you a robot okay here's my question are you a robot let me just increase the font for your sake okay, up to 14 okay this is just so that you guys can see are you a robot you're gonna click no and I'm gonna load a couple of pictures here. Picture boxes. Uh, there we go. Picture box one, picture box two, like, but I must make sure that the size is very fair. So let me go look at the size of each image. So this image is 600 by 400. 600 by 400, if we were to reduce it, Ooh, six by four. That means it's three by two. Okay. Let me just load an image first. And if this is difficult for you, you don't have to try and do it immediately because I'm recording this session so it will be heavily available, but only for today. Okay, here are my pictures. So I'll start with picture one. This is picture one, and I'm going to put it as a stretched image. Like that. So let me try to put it here at the corner. So this will be my first picture. And then... Need to make sure that the size is somehow saying um one twenty okay it's fine i will sort out the size later copy paste i need nine of these things then i'll just change the images paste another one paste another one another one Next, next, okay, my picture format is ready, just need to load the correct images. So let's go select image 2, done, go to the other one, which is picture number 3. Select image, part three, done. Okay, there might be a need for me to make sure that um, these images are very close to each other. Before, done. Can you see it's already starting to take shape? Five, done. Six. Okay, I'm left with just a few more. Okay, two more. 
more images. Let's try next image number nine. Done. So these are all the images. Are they clear? Does it still represent this picture? You can you can tell, eh? It's still the same picture. Just that this one has been, you know, chopped. The idea is that we can ask them question to say, okay, select every box that a person is appearing. Do you get it? So they will have to come, select, 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 select. Others will, you know, say there's a boot here, the boots means it's a person and all that. So, <clears throat> we're then going to put our question somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so that will be our question. Select a box where you can see a person. I change the background color here and see what will happen. Okay, I like this one much better. So I need last thing is a button to deal with whatever you have just done and then you can then confirm if you are not a robot or not. Okay, just need to change the button here and say confirm. Confirm. Done. So, when our project starts, it's going to ask you, are you a robot or not? You're going to select. Now we just need to deal with the back end, right? But most of this back end, let's just make sure that, let's start by saying, when a picture is clicked, right? Uh, where should we start? Let's start here. On the pictures let's rename our properties this can just be picture box one or unless yeah i get it now unless all of these picture box are going in order right you see it says one then two then this is picture box number three that means this will be picture box number nine can you see so unless it's it's, it's loaded like that i'm happy the picture box i'm interested in should be four five six and what eight should we also include nine and nine but we can include seven eh i don't see anything important on seven so what are we going to do to verify that these are our correct picture box whenever a picture box box is clicked okay let's change first all of them the mouse the cursor of all of these picture box should be a hand okay now change the name of the button from just being called button one to say confirm btn so let's start with when you click a picture box we want it to load 
uh, what can I say in terms of loading? search for something let me say fill picture box with solid color box whatever picture box has been clicked we hit dot back color that's it so let's say you click this picture box so I'm gonna double click it go to the back end it's picture box one so I will just say picture box one dot back color it's equals to so when the image has been clicked which color should we should we paint what green Blue. Are you sure? Color dot uh, <coughs> blue. Okay, let's go test this out. Remember that time I've not mentioned whether you have selected the right image, ne? I'm just making sure that for whatever image you select, we display the color blue. Oh, why are we getting an error? Oh. the phone now as you can see if I click this image okay nothing happens by clicking it nothing is happening let's check the events that means that back color is not working uh, so picture box one Back color. So that's the info we got. Color dot red. Mm. I want. I, I wanted not to vote for this one. Let's go with this red. box one 
dot image points to now and it there we go ne? that means that image has been selected eh? ne? you can see so that means the whole code here I'm just gonna copy it and put it in all the images just these two lines Go to the to the design. Ooh. So for each image, double click, paste the same code, but you need to redirect from picture box one to the current picture box that you're dealing with. Same thing on picture box three, just change the picture box that you're dealing with. Number four, pasting the same code that is just making sure that there's no image and then you change the back color you can choose a different back color if you want because red you might give people impression that maybe they selected the wrong image Let us now go and deal with the button for confirming. So if you click the confirm button, we're going to check if ever the picture box, how many picture box are we dealing with? Nine, eh? And the correct ones are starting at what? Four, five, six, eight, and nine, eh? Okay, it's a lot of them. So picture, if picture box four dot image if is not null because the minute is clickable um, and it has been turned over it becomes null so if is not null and which are the picture box five eh? Four, five, six, eight, nine. Picture box five dot image if is not equals to null. And it's basically the same thing. You're just dealing with and what and which picture box. So I'm just going to copy this. So I've done picture box five. I'm coming to six. Um, from six to two, eight and nine. Picture box eight, 
last list picture box 9 okay then if that's the case we're just going to display a message to say uh, you know you are not a robot so message box dot show else we show the message to say should we say you are a robot or you failed the test you failed the robot test out of all this we must always do application dot exit right let's hope this works okay you are there are you a robot you can click here we didn't do anything on that one and then we have to select the specific pictures right but for each picture you select right it, it will be tend to be having a, a red color. So let's select the correct ones. It's here, 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 and here. Press confirm. You failed the robot test. Ooh. Why did we fail? Maybe we included the other, the other things without looking. Okay. So it's image number four and image number five. Oh, if it's equals to none, okay. Not if it's not none. If it's equals to none. Because when you turn the image, they become none. Okay. What about that? Oh, the last one. If it's equals to none, and only these ones, if they're equal to none. But you know what will be what will be the the um, the final one will be. Even if this image have been selected, make sure that the others were not selected. Let me show you one, two, three, four, five. Confirm you're not a robot. We've passed ne? application close. So that part works. You can click the correct ones. But I want to show you the other part now. Check this out. You can still say this, 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 and then this, right? But then still select another one where there's no image, right? Where there's no person and say confirm you would have passed. Ne? So we need. To control these other ones to say even if you have selected the correct pictures but you included one which was wrong um, we have a problem so we might as well do it on the same if statement to say if these other ones are null the other one must not be null so we'll say and picture box which is one dot image if it's not now these ones are, must be not now ne? and which other one doesn't have two ne? and three picture box two dot image if it's not now is the end and picture box three dot image if it's not none which other one eleven okay seven 
document picture box number seven the image of it if there is nothing on the image if it's not none done so now even if you are trying to play it then you come and you select the correct ones but then within the correct ones you have one wrong one it's not going to allow so for example one two three four five this one you are good to go ne? let's run it again the reason it's closing is because i said after everything it must always do application to close dot exit one two three four five we know these are fine but if you just include one which is wrong and confirm you would have failed the what the tests ne? because you included one which was wrong done that's the end of the lesson